Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down RHI exam, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is encryption in healthcare. 1. What is encryption? Let's start with the basics what exactly is encryption. Encryption is the process of converting data into a code or cipher to prevent unauthorized access. In healthcare, it's used to protect sensitive information, such as electronic health records, EHRs, lab results, and patient communications, ensuring that only authorized individuals can access the data. The main goal of encryption is to secure data both while it's stored, data at rest, and while it's being transmitted, data in transit, over networks. By using encryption, healthcare organizations can protect patient privacy, meet regulatory requirements, and guard against data breaches or cyber attacks. 2. How does encryption work? Now, how does encryption work? Encryption relies on cryptographic algorithms that convert plaintext data information that is readable into ciphertext, which is unreadable unless decrypted. To decrypt the data and turn it back into its original form, a key is needed. Let's break this process down. 1. Encryption key. Encryption works using a mathematical algorithm and an encryption key. This key is a long string of characters that is used to both encrypt and decrypt the data. The strength of the encryption depends on the length and complexity of the key. 2. Symmetric encryption. In symmetric encryption, the same key is used to encrypt and decrypt data. This type of encryption is fast and efficient, making it ideal for encrypting large amounts of data. However, it requires secure key management since anyone with access to the key can decrypt the data. 3. Asymmetric encryption. In asymmetric encryption, two keys are used a public key to encrypt the data and a private key to decrypt it. Only the person with the private key can decrypt the data, which adds an extra layer of security. Asymmetric encryption is commonly used in secure communications and digital signatures in healthcare. 4. Hashing. Hashing is a form of encryption used to ensure data integrity, often for passwords. A hash function converts the original data into a fixed size string of characters. Even a small change in the original data results in a completely different hash. Unlike symmetric and asymmetric encryption, hashing is one way it cannot be reversed to retrieve the original data. 3. Importance of Encryption in Healthcare Encryption plays a critical role in healthcare data security for several reasons, each of which impacts patient privacy, data integrity, and regulatory compliance. Let's explore why encryption is so important in healthcare. 1. Protecting patient privacy, healthcare data, especially personal health information, PHI, is highly sensitive. Encryption ensures that patient data remains confidential by making it unreadable to anyone who does not have the correct decryption key. This helps maintain patient trust and ensures that private health information is kept secure. 2. Preventing data breaches. Data breaches are a growing concern in healthcare, with cybercriminals targeting health records due to the valuable information they contain. Encryption acts as a strong defense against data breaches by rendering stolen data useless if it's encrypted. Even if hackers gain access to the data, they won't be able to read or use it without the decryption key. 3. Meeting regulatory requirements. Healthcare organizations are required to comply with strict data security regulations, such as the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA. In the U.S. HIPAA mandates the use of encryption to protect electronic PHI. Failure to encrypt sensitive data can lead to hefty fines, legal penalties, and loss of reputation. 4. Ensuring data integrity. Encryption also protects the integrity of healthcare data by ensuring that it hasn't been tampered with during transmission. This is particularly important when sending patient records, lab results, or other sensitive data between healthcare providers or across networks. Encryption ensures that the data is transmitted securely and has not been altered along the way. 5. Securing remote and mobile access. With the increasing use of telehealth, mobile devices, and remote work, healthcare data is being accessed from outside the traditional hospital or clinic environment. Encryption ensures that data remains secure when accessed remotely, 
helping protect against unauthorized access on unsecured networks or devices. 4. Challenges of Implementing Encryption in Healthcare While encryption is essential, implementing it in healthcare comes with its own set of challenges. Let's take a look at some of the common challenges faced by healthcare organizations when implementing encryption. 1. Key Management Managing encryption keys can be complex, especially in large healthcare organizations with multiple systems and devices. If encryption keys are lost or compromised, it can lead to data being inaccessible. Healthcare organizations need robust key management practices to ensure keys are stored securely and can be accessed when needed. 2. Balancing security with performance. Encryption adds an extra layer of security, but it can also impact the performance of healthcare IT systems, especially when encrypting large datasets like imaging files or entire databases. Finding the right balance between security and performance is critical to ensure that encryption doesn't slow down clinical workflows or patient care. 3. Legacy Systems and Compatibility Many healthcare organizations use legacy systems that may not support modern encryption standards. Implementing encryption across these systems can be difficult and costly. Ensuring that all systems are compatible and that encryption is consistently applied across all platforms is crucial for comprehensive data protection. 4. User awareness and training. Even the best encryption practices can be compromised if users aren't properly trained on how to manage sensitive data. Staff must be educated on the importance of encryption, how to use encrypted systems properly, and how to handle encryption keys. Regular training and awareness programs help minimize the risk of human error. 5. Cost of implementation. Implementing strong encryption practices can be expensive, especially for smaller healthcare organizations. The cost of encryption software, key management systems, and ongoing maintenance can be a barrier. However, the investment in encryption is far less costly than dealing with the financial and reputational damage caused by a data breach. 5. Best Practices for Using Encryption in Healthcare To get the most out of encryption and minimize the risks, healthcare organizations should follow best practices. Let's explore some key strategies for effective encryption in healthcare. 1. Use strong encryption standards. Always use encryption methods that meet industry standards, such as AES-256, Advanced Encryption Standard, for encrypting sensitive data. Regularly review and update encryption algorithms to ensure they remain secure and are in line with the latest security protocols. 2. Implement end-to-end -end encryption. End-to-end -end encryption ensures that data is encrypted at every stage from the moment it's created to the time it reaches its destination. This is especially important for communications, such as emails, telehealth sessions, and data exchanges between healthcare providers. End-to-end -end encryption ensures that data is protected both in transit and at rest. 3. Use robust key management solutions. Implement secure key management solutions to protect encryption keys and prevent unauthorized access. This includes using hardware security modules, HSMs, or key management software to store and manage keys securely. Regularly rotate keys and audit key usage to ensure that they are not compromised. 4. Encrypt data on mobile devices. Ensure that any mobile devices used to access healthcare data such as smartphones, tablets, or laptops are encrypted. Mobile devices are particularly vulnerable to loss or theft, and encrypting the data on these devices prevents unauthorized access if they fall into the wrong hands. 5. Regularly monitor and audit encryption practices. Implement regular audits and monitoring to ensure that encryption is consistently applied across all systems and devices. Use logging and monitoring tools to track access to encrypted data and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. Periodic audits help identify potential vulnerabilities or gaps in encryption practices. 6. Provide training and awareness. Regularly train healthcare staff on the importance of encryption and how to use encrypted systems effectively. Staff should be aware of best practices for data security, how to handle encrypted data, and the importance of safeguarding encryption keys. Ongoing training reduces the risk of human error and strengthens overall security. Conclusion In conclusion, 
Encryption is a critical tool for protecting sensitive healthcare data, ensuring patient privacy, and meeting regulatory requirements. By implementing strong encryption practices and following best practices for key management, staff training, and monitoring, healthcare organizations can safeguard their data against breaches and cyber attacks. Whether you're a healthcare provider, IT professional, or administrator, Understanding how to use encryption effectively is key to securing patient information in today's digital age.